finding good quality armor and weapons for reenactment can be really hard. There isn't a lot of bricks and mortar stores in Australia, and buying online can be hit and miss. In today's video, we're going to do a review of the medieval shops, the Skulls Axe. G'day everyone, my name is Ben and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into making your own costumes, you'll find DIY videos into making your own furniture, you'll find how-to videos into all sorts of medieval camping and that kind of thing. We do videos for, we analyse historical events, what happened, who were the key players, and why did things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might want to consider subscribing. The Huskals were a, I guess a reinvention of the household troops by King Canute. And the, the Huskals survived right through until the very end of the Anglo-Saxon period. Uh, during the Battle of Hastings. So here we have a really nice piece of kit. This is um, an 87 centimeter long handle. It's quite well made, it's quite cr well crafted. Interestingly, you do have a very much a box shape on it though, uh, which does give you a, a lot of feedback as to exactly where the blade is pointing. And I actually do like that. I think that's actually quite important when we're doing fight training, because if you, miscalculate exactly how the blade is going to strike the target then you can uh, lose control of your weapon and that can be actually very dangerous. This is a sharp weapon so not reenactment safe. If you wish to make it reenactment safe you would need to dull the blade down and curve the corners. Please check with your particular reenactment group as to exactly what their rules are. You can use this as a one or two handed fighting axe, um, which I think is quite good. This is not the type M axe of the, the, the traditional Dane axes per se. That said, I do think it's, it's incredibly realistic in its appearance for the kind of um, Anglo-Saxon and Viking periods. The actual axe head itself is 18 by 20 centimeters. I think that's perfectly realistic and has a weight of just 1.3 kilos, which I find is a really good uh, weight. It's, it's very easy to use. You can see that it's, um, it's not difficult to uh, maneuver my hands around the shaft um, and, and change the positioning of the axe. I can come up with some really good strikes. I really do like this. Um, I think for those of you who are into that kind of Anglo-Saxon and Viking period reenactment, I really do think this is a, a nice piece of kit to have. Quite cost effective too, at around $87 Australian. I don't think that's too bad at all. And I think for that price, you actually get quite a reasonable piece of kit. The Huskarls Axe by Medieval Shop. I really think this is uh, definitely something worth considering for those of you who are into um, the early medieval period reenactment. I really think that uh, this is definitely a, a reasonable investment uh, for those of you who are into um, Norman or Anglo Saxon or Viking re uh, reenactment. I think this is um, something that's definitely worth a bit of consideration. Righto guys, I'm going to give this 7 out of 10. I think this is definitely a nice piece of kit. Righto guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.